Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a 12 volt buck converter using UC3843 PWM controller chip. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So these are all the components we gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect UC3843 IC and connect its pin number 5 to ground and its pin number 7 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1000 microfarad 50 volt capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 2 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 2 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 8 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 4 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect an 8.2 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 4 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect IRF Z44 MOSFET and connect its pin number 2 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 22 ohms resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the MOSFET and its other pin to pin number 6 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the MOSFET and its other pin to pin number 3 of the MOSFET. After that, I'm gonna connect MBR2045 Schottky diode and connect its pin number 1 and 3 to ground and its pin number 2 to pin number 3 of the MOSFET. After that, I'm gonna connect a 220 microhenry inductor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 2 of the MOSFET. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to remaining pin of the inductor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1000 microfarad 50 volt capacitor and connect its positive pin to pin number 1 of the terminal block and its negative pin to pin number 2 of the terminal block. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the terminal block and its other pin to pin number 2 of the terminal block. After that, I'm gonna connect a 0 0.1 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the terminal block and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the terminal block and its other pin to pin number 3 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the terminal block and its other pin to pin number 2 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5K trim pot and connect its center pin and one side pin to pin number 2 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the IC and its other pin to remaining pin of the trim pot. 
After that, I'm gonna connect a 2.2k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the trim port and its other pin to ground. So I have completed all the connections, now let's test the project. So that's it for today's video, I hope you have enjoyed this video, for more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.